the Hawker Fury. pageants or displays of the 1930s in watching this aircraft going through its paces. Just 117 Fury 1s like this were built for the RAF and the squadrons that flew them, starting with number 43 squadron based at Tangmere, put on spectacular displays, sometimes tied together in formation. service. This Mark I has a 525 horsepower Rolls-Royce Kestrel supercharged V12 piston engine. The Mark II took power to 640 horsepower from a further enhanced Kestrel. of those Mark IIs were built and just six RAF squadrons flew Furies but they included some of the most famous fighter squadrons of their day and it was a sign of the times when around the period of the Munich crisis in 1938 caused by Germany's annexation of the Sudetenland when aircraft of the RAF fighter squadrons of the day including the Fury that we see here and the gladiator that you can see on static display began to receive camouflage. The threat of war was increasing. And it was also a sign that the biplane fighter was becoming increasingly outmoded. They were out of the RAF front line by the start of World War II. They were still used for training. This is not just the first... The sole remaining airworthy survivor of the Fury line. It's the sole Fury remaining in any condition in the world. It was delivered to number 43 squadron at Tangmere. In 1936, it was named Queen of North and South and flown regularly by Air Chief Marshal Sir Frederick Rosier, who was then a flight lieutenant. He went on to become a distinguished wartime pilot and post-war Air Officer Commanding RAF Fighter Command, amongst other senior postings. In his logbook, he 